The new Batman movie has me so incredibly intrigued that I just need to make a poster for it since I don't think we've had a main poster yet. And so that is exactly what I'm gonna do today. First we're gonna make a nice sketch and then we're gonna realize it in Photoshop. A bit of a more serious video today, but I guess for a change, that's also fun. Now, as we all know, for a decent design, you first need a good concept, a good sketch. And I myself am what I like to call a mind sketcher. I don't sketch. At least not in real life. I don't write it down, I don't do it in Photoshop, I do it all in my head. That's what works for me for some reason. Clients hate this by the way, don't ever do this with clients. But like, if you're working on your own, this is totally fine. However, for you guys to understand what my idea and concept and everything is, I will visualize it especially for you. Of course, there are a bunch of characters I need to include, for example, the Batman, Catwoman, the Riddler, Gordon, the Penguin, and maybe Alfred if that fits. I also want to include elements like quotes and riddles from the Riddler since he is such a big deal. And then of course, we can't forget about the Batman logo, that is an absolute must for a poster, I would say. The concept I'm gonna go with is mainly based around broken glass, since I thought this fits the theme pretty well. Batman in this movie seems to be darker and more revengeful, not at all over the death of his parents, uh, so I thought shattered glass could be my symbolism to represent that. As for the colors, it's pretty obvious I'm gonna go with mostly red and black since most of the promotional material has red as well. I don't think it's gonna be an actual duo tone, I think there's gonna be more colors but it's gonna be very subtle things like skin tones and that sort of stuff, so mainly red and black. Now here is the idea I have. First of all, it's gonna be built up in three layers of depth. The first layer is going to be Batman with the Batman logo. Layer two is gonna be glass, like basically just some sort of window slash glass panel that has a massive crack or hole in it. And layer three is gonna be Gotham very vaguely with a bunch of characters, like for example, the Riddler and Penguin, and you know, just all the supporting characters. Now, as you can see in my example, the color separation is pretty obvious. The Batman pick is gonna have light from the right. Behind them is gonna be very bright red, like Gotham and all the characters. It's gonna be very bright, shining light onto the Batman in the front, maybe. I'm not sure, but that's kind of the, the vibe, the idea I wanna go for. Now, now, with this idea clearly in my mind and the images collected, it's now time to get this train going. I first positioned the two main elements, the Batman logo and the Batman. I put the Batman slightly on the right side to balance the composition. The hole in the glass will be slightly towards the left, so that is why. Using some glass photos, I created a hole with a shape I liked. At first, I wanted this to be in the shape of the new bat symbol, but that would make the glass hole a bit too thin and small for characters to fit in. I did try giving it that spooky vibe by adding variety to the broken glass, mainly on the sides. I thought it'd be cool to give the glass a black obsidian look instead of see-through because that would create even more contrast between back and foreground. This turned out to be pretty crucial at the end. Lighting in this image is a tad confusing, but I wanted to add some bright highlights on the edges of the glass to replicate the white light on Batman. Of course, this is all in front of the glass, because the red light later will come from inside the hole. I made a nice circular gradient on the background with a bright area in the middle. In there I dropped a very vague image of Gotham. This was more for kind of a feeling rather than you actually seeing it, it's very subtle. it was time to add characters. The Riddler fits pretty well in that crack on the top left and next to him I added Gordon. I was aiming for this extremely red hazy environment back there with bright light coming from behind. Rim light is pretty much always a big factor when it comes to movie posters and key art, it simply makes it look so much more professional, though you do actually have to make sure it fits the rest of your image.
It took a while before I got the look I wanted, but eventually we got there, using some blur, highlights, haze and a ton of red. This exact same thing I did for Gordon behind him. integrate Batman with a red background, I turned the bright highlights behind him red. That simply makes a lot more sense because that red light is behind him. In my opinion, this is where it actually started taking shape. added some extra haste to the red areas and then added red highlights on the edges of the glass. Some of them needed to stay white though, mostly the ones hit from the right. The others I made red, harmonizing it even with the background. With some extra details, I added Catwoman and later the Penguin and Alfred. They all fit in there pretty well, it luckily didn't feel cramped at all. some extra drama to the glass, I decided to throw in some glass shards. These of course would get the same obsidian look and lighting conditions. To give the whole thing some more depth, I put some of them a bit further away by decreasing the opacity just a tad. This technique is only possible because the background is pretty even. Now for a final nice detail, I thought it would be cool to write the riddles and quotes from the trailer on the glass areas. Of course, the main antagonist of the movie is the Riddler, so I'm pretty sure it should be a big deal on this poster. First, I collected the stuff I want to write on there, that being these right here. With my mouse, I then drew some janky text to see if it looks nice at all. And honestly, the messier, the better. I didn't want it all to be too obvious though, so I decreased the opacity quite a lot and decided to make it red on the left. With 
everything in place, there was only one thing left to do, a camera raw filter. Now, since there's only two main colors in here, the color mixer wasn't gonna do much. It mainly came down to lighting and color grading for this one, so that did actually make it look a hundred times better at least. And there is the final design. I myself am pretty happy with it. I think it looks badass. In my opinion, one of my better posters. And I hope you like it as much as I do. This one was actually quite a challenge because I wanted to stick to the promotional material as best I could whilst making my own sort of concept with it. So I hope I did a good job. I guess uh, that's for you guys to decide. Uh, then I guess that's it for today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you enjoy my overall content, feel very, very free to subscribe. That would mean the world to me. And then I hope I'll see you in my next video. Yeah.